social media content strategy for local business, five tips coming up. So coming up with social media content for a local business can be really tough sometimes, especially you're in a business like a plumber. How exciting is that, right? How often can you come up with good content that's engaging enough for a local community to want to actually follow you? That can be really difficult. So let's talk about a strategy that works for any local business, no matter what you do, this is a strategy that's gonna be engaging to your local community, get them to follow you. Tip number one is to post content in your local area about activities that are just happening throughout the year. You can usually go to your city directory site and you can search for this types of stuff like upcoming concerts, parades, maybe cookouts, things like this. Every city has this kind of stuff. Oftentimes they have quite a bit of it. Usually there's something almost every week that's going on. Get that calendar in advance and then post that content. Even if you're a plumber, if you're out there posting content about this in the local community, they're gonna start to follow you because you really have great ideas about what to do over the weekend. Oh wow, I didn't realize we had that bike around the lake this weekend. Thanks a lot, plumber. And so they're gonna start to follow you and see value in your content because how exciting is it if you post about you know how to fix pipes in a bathroom right not not real engaging and so it makes social media difficult but if you're generating value with posting activities that are going on at the city level people are going to start to follow you and they're also going to share that content with their friends like oh hey look Nancy look at this they're doing this bike around the lake over the weekend it's going to create more shareability of your content which is going to increase your follower rate even faster now three Three months later when they need a plumber who do they think about they think about you because you're the one that's been providing that value tip number two is to follow the local sports teams in your area generally this is going to be at the high school level when you're talking about a, a small local town and so follow those high school teams all the different sports that are going on there who's doing well is it the girls gymnastics squad that's just crushing it and maybe you're posting some stuff about that congratulating them maybe it's the high school football team that's just made the playoffs post something about that get excited maybe highlight a particular player that had an unbelievable game what's going to happen is those people are gonna like that content they're gonna comment about it they're gonna share it maybe you're even at one of these games and you catch a quick video and throw that up on social media this is exciting stuff right and who are they seeing doing this all along they see the little icon up there for your local business and that's just renting space in their mind like I see you I know who you are and then when they need your products or services they're gonna think of you first Tip number three is to follow maybe some of the local businesses in your area that are in the entertainment space, maybe restaurants, maybe uh, kids uh, fun clubs and those sorts of things, uh, family activities, whatever it might be. Maybe there's a ropes course in your town, you know, those sorts of things. Follow those people because what's going to happen is every now and again they put a deal out there or an upcoming event or a promotion or something like that. When you see that, share it share it with your local community. Oh wow, I didn't realize I could go rafting this weekend for half price. Thanks a lot for sharing that. Now that I'm aware, I'm gonna share that with my friends too. And it all came from you. It's just like having a good resource in your back pocket by following you because you keep posting just really interesting, valuable content that the local community uh, is excited about following you to stay on top of, right? You're doing the research for them. It just makes it easy. I might as well follow you because you're gonna tell me what's coming up. And so think about things you can do in that space. Tip number four is to share beautiful pictures in your area, right? Maybe you have a local river or a lake or a mountain or a beautiful sunset over a cornfield, you know, whatever it might be in your local area. What's the beautiful stuff, right? What's the historic landmarks, things like this? Hire a local photographer that's really skilled and just say, hey, I want you to just go out. I want you to find 25 to 50 beautiful pictures around the area and just give those back to me so that I can just post like one a week for the next six months or for the next year, this is just another piece of content that the local community might see and say, hey, you know, that's beautiful. That's pretty cool, right? And they'll like it, they'll share it, maybe leave a comment and those sorts of things. It's just another piece of interesting content that's outside of any type of business that you might be in. It's not specific to what you do, but it's just valuable content that the local community might find value in and follow you for. 
Tip number five is, is a little bit to do with your business, but mostly mostly about just sharing the lessons that you've learned in life. So make, make a bullet list of all the lessons that you've learned in life. And these things are gonna come up real time, so always be adding to it. What's the story, right? What did you learn today? What did you experience? What's gonna maybe inspire somebody else? And think about that content and post that content and include it with a nice picture, maybe a nice picture that you have of your business or of you working or your happy customer, just something that's interesting and engaging and authentic to you. Here again, you can hire a photographer to go and take 25 to 50 beautiful pictures of your building, the inside of the building, the people working, you working, follow you around for a day. Just take a bunch of these pictures and you can have this inventory. And then as you post this inspiring um, content, life stories that you've lived, just grab a picture that looks good with it and just throw it in there. This is another way to have good, interesting content that adds value. I did a video about this in more detail previously. I'll link it up in the description so you can watch it about exactly how you can do this type of thing with content. But I think adding this in, in addition to all the other things that I've talked about here, gives it some variety and it gives you more value out there as content you're posting, which you know really motivates somebody to wanna to follow you and share your content. So that's it. Hopefully these five tips give you some ideas on content. Notice that I didn't really say anything about pushing your business, right? Pushing them to go to business with you. They're not gonna follow you if you're constantly pushing from a marketing perspective, right? Think about adding value. What does the local community wanna see, right? If you can come up with some good things there, you can easily identify one or two or three things a week to post that's gonna be really valuable and get somebody to follow you. Hopefully these tips help you with that. If there's tips that you have that I missed, please leave them in the comments. Like the video if you like it, share it with your friends, and happy marketing.